Hello, welcome to a new video. Today will be a, a quick unboxing of the Emission RC uh, RF power meter. Okay, so this is a very uh, interesting tool in order to measure uh, any video transmitter power, uh, emission power of your uh, radio transmitter. Okay, uh, so it's a very good tool because it's uh, you can measure on a wide scale of uh, radio frequency from very low frequency, uh, something like 72 MHz up to uh, 5.8 GHz, even 6 GHz. So it's very good and it's uh, you can scan a large wide binary frequency. So what you will find in the box, um, you will find uh, stickers, I guess, to install on the on the on the sensors and all these three elements. So the first is of course the uh, sensor itself. Well, I can take it okay like this so it's very light something like uh, uh, 70 grams 60 grams okay so you can see on the back panel you have an USB plug okay in order to uh, power the uh, the sensor uh, okay with a classic with your laptop if you want and of course you have a second uh, possibility to uh, power it through this uh, power adapter so it's welcoming um, a voltage from 6 to 16 volt okay uh, no specific sign to indicate which one is a negative pole or the positive but uh, it's the central pine is a positive one so it's usually it's like this so uh, it's confirmed and you have three buttons in order to uh, navigate between the different menus and to validate your choice by the central one. So uh, you have a, an LCD display there, okay, you have up to three lines displayed and the um, connector which is the uh, uh, SMA uh, connector. So uh, on the back side you will find uh, all the frequency uh, you can um, Measure so from 35 megahertz up to 5.8 gigahertz. So uh, it's very good, and you can measure, uh, for example, some relative uh, efficiency of antenna and, of course, some emission uh, uh, power of your transmissions transmitter. So uh, if you uh, plan to use transmission uh, to measure a video transmitter power or your tra or your your transmitter, you need to have uh, to use this attenuator. Okay, this is a 30 dB one. It's assumed to be more or less flat in this wide frequency, but of course, versus the frequency, it's attenuated less. So, uh, according to the what I read, the, you have up to close to 2 dB of difference between the lower frequency and to the uh, 48 means that at 5.8 gigahertz you only attenuate of 28 28.5 dB. Okay, so um, uh, what you also you will find you will find this extension cable. Okay, uh, ending with this SMA. So basically, you can directly measure any uh, SMA transmitter uh, based. Okay, if you have a RPCMA transmitter, you need to have a, a converter uh, um, plug. Uh, from um, uh, RP SMA um, um, female to S female to SMA male. Okay, so actually I will make a small demonstration. So I will plug the um, the attenuator on the top. Okay, uh, be sure to well tighten uh, all the screws because with such high frequency. Okay, especially the 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, in any links of radio frequency will and uh, will uh, uh, will have as consequence uh, a drop in the performances. So it's very important to very well tight the uh, connector. Okay, and I will also install the extension cable. So be aware that try to maximum avoid such uh, procedure because each time you're screwing and screwing you will have some uh, at the end some small uh, uh, loose and weak uh, leak okay so uh, for instance I will use my um, my uh, computer to power the uh, receiver okay 
So by default, uh, I will plug in the mini USB. Okay, so you need one, it's not provided. So a, a not power adapter or USB cable are provided. Could be, but it would have been a better choice if they provide one at least, because uh, for such price, they could. Okay, and by default, I already tuned to a measure, for example, a video transmitter. Uh, I'm working at 5.8 gigahertz with the attenuation install. So uh, be sure that when you want to measure an, a video transmitter, for example, you, you have to install it. It's very important. If not, you, will, you can kill your sensor. And in order to display um, the right values in milliwatts or uh, dBm, you need to indicate that you are using this uh, attenuator so and to select to uh, tune to 30 dB of attenuation. So uh, how to proceed? You have to go to a menu and here, go here and you, you press up and down if you want to, uh, to select uh, the uh, attenuation. Okay, so when it's done, you can exit. Uh, okay, uh, by default, if you want to measure uh, a video transmitter, you have to be in uh, average mode and add, and also I decided to display uh, the information in milliwatts instead of dBm. So when it's done, you, you press to select. Okay, and now it's ready to measure, so I will make a, a quick test. So uh, according what I read in the, in the um, in the forum associated to this sensor, you need to plug directly uh, the uh, uh, the uh, transmitter. Okay, this is a very uh, homemade uh, uh, video transmitter. Uh, it's it's a TX5823. Okay, so I I did my my job alone. So as you can see. Uh, the the third ring job is not perfect, so it means that probably uh, there will be some leak, okay, in the in the measure. So be aware, okay. So well timed the stuff, and according to what I read in the forum, you need to not connect any camera on the on the transmitter. So just to power on, okay. And I will use uh, this um, a small one uh, S lipo battery, okay, and to plug it. And as you will see, okay, so actually it's outputting, seems to be, wait a few seconds uh, and you will see that it's outputting on this can, uh, channel, uh, okay, after a few seconds it will decrease, 244 uh, milliwatts, okay, on this channel is not bad at all, okay. So after a few seconds it will... Uh, it will uh, converge to the true values, okay, it will decrease because it will, uh, uh, will decrease the performance in general. Okay, so uh, this is how to proceed and, uh, well, if I'm select another channel there, for example, if I'm pressing this channel, this switch, you can see that uh, it's also more or less the same performances for this channel. Okay, as you can see, it's very uh, sensitive to to how it tightens. Is it so? Okay, so this is the first uh, uh, test with this uh, uh, X4823, which is not bad at all. And I will also uh, make a second test. For example, I will delicately unscrew it. Okay. Not bad at all. And I will uh, delicately use this uh, uh, Homeway um, transmitter. I have to test. So basically, I will use this cable to power it. Like this. And this one will be powered with a 3S battery, which should be close to me. Okay, so I'm screwing the, the transmitter. Okay, well tightened. 
and now I will power the um, receiver, the transmitter, sorry. Okay, as you can see on this channel, this one is delivering 208 uh, uh, milliwatts, okay, on this channel. So, well, it will decrease a bit because it's warming, heating a bit, and it will reach in close to 200 uh, uh, milliwatts. So it's, uh, it's um, coherent with the uh, associated uh, values on the uh, transmitter, which is assumed to be a 200 milliwatts also. So, okay, so this is the end of this small unboxing and uh, quick testing of this uh, immersion RC uh, video, um, uh, sorry, uh, sensor RF and power measurement. Okay, as you can see after a few uh, minutes, uh, uh, the, the value is decreasing. So when you're making some measurement, you have to wait between three and four minutes uh, to to uh, measure the through uh, values and you need a full charge, a LiPo battery or uh, to be sure that it's not coming from a voltage drop of your battery. Okay, so, um, uh, okay, this is the end of the test. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.